everything that you're about to see is real, and it's built leveraging commercially available data sets. Let's take a look. Watson, I need help with acquisitions. Hello. How can I help you with mergers and acquisitions? Watson, show me companies with revenue between $25 million and $60 million pertaining to analytics. Let's see what I can find. I found 87 companies. Nice. OK, so that's a good start. What that's do you think, Brian? But I was doing some homework, actually. I think we should pull on that Watson Strategy Group document. There's a lot of key concepts in there. Let's feed it to Watson. All right. Watson, please regard this as cognitive strategy. Watson, show me companies with revenue between $15 million and $60 million pertaining to cognitive strategy. Let's see what I can find. Yeah, this is nice. I found 112 hmm. companies. Now we're getting a lot in here. And we can see we're, we're getting some connections too, I think. Watson, show me companies that are about analytics and cognitive strategy that are most similar to the companies named Wolfram Alpha and Kawasaki Robotics. I found three companies uh -huh. similar to the uh -huh. ones you specified. Beautiful. Well, let's see what we think of these. Dive a little deeper. Let's compare these things. Sure. Watson, show me a decision table. Here is a decision table that will enable you to compare companies side by side. Watson, place the companies named Wolfram Alpha and Kawasaki Robotics and Cognolytics and Raytheon BBN Technologies and Decisive Analytics in the decision table. OK. Nice. OK, but I think we need a little more than that. We need some uh, other attributes. Watson, place the attributes named revenue and employees and corporate structure in the decision table. OK. All right, so now uh, we've got this side-by-side -side comparison. What do you think? Yeah, I uh, think that's right. Watson, give me a suggestion. 